Williams, and he's from Heaven Saints Motorcycle Ministry. Oh boy, you're gonna say, what is a motorcycle man? Now you ought to see this guy. He's got a big beard and earrings in both ears and coat. I'm almost afraid. I said, oh, I don't know if I ought to. I ought to. Whoa! But anyhow, I was coming out of Captain D's one day, and I saw him working on his motorcycle, and I started to talk to him because I saw Jesus on there, number one, you know. The, and so we got to talk, and I said, well, this would be a good man to interview on Christian Perspective, and people need to know that uh, not all, all motorcycle folks are bad people. There are a lot of Christian motorcyclists, and this man is part of that ministry. So good morning, Patrick. How are you this morning? Good morning. Doing great. Okay, and uh, tell me, uh, first of all, just tell me a little bit about yourself. I am uh, married to Missy Williams, mm -hmm. and uh, we have four children together. I drive a truck for Pasha, Pasha Distribution out of Jacksonville, Florida. Um, we live here in Douglas, and we've been a part of the Heaven Saints ministry from Waycross, Georgia, since um, April of last year. And uh, we've just gotten to where have enough members in the Douglas area that we can open up a Douglas chapter. So you got your own chapter here. Yes, now, what is the purpose of the chapter? Well, the main thing that we do is we are here to minister to Coffee County. Mm -hmm. Whether it be like going to the Boys and Girls Clubs or just riding our motorcycles around telling people about how we love Jesus. Mm -hmm. And so... Um, how are you received in that area? Actually, we received very well because there's been several people ahead of us who has paved the way. Uh -huh. Praise the Lord. Well, before we go down, I want to talk a little more about yourself. Yes, sir. Um, now, you were talking a little bit about your your birth and so forth. Do you want to get into that a little bit? Sure. I don't mind. Um, part of my testimony that I was telling you was that my mother was um, mentally retarded, mm -hmm. and she was actually raped and I am a product of that rape and my grandmother had actually my real grandmother told her that uh, she wasn't going to support her and me also that she was going to have to um, have me aborted and so she she knew enough to say that no I, I can't kill my baby mm -hmm. and so because of believing that you know that I was a real life inside of her <clears throat> and not just a fetus she moved out from her mom's house and actually moved in with a lady who later became my adopted grandmother now is your mom still living no sir. Mm -hmm. um both of my adopted parents and my real mother have all passed away okay um so uh, when did you come to the point that you realized all this happened well, they've actually, my, my adopted parents told me from day one. They, um, and it just, when it really started meaning a lot more to me was when I had my own two children. children. Now, when did you ask Jesus Christ to come into your heart? I originally became saved at 12 years old. Mm -hmm. Then, as every other person, you know, we, I decided that I had my fire insurance, you know, per se, mm -hmm. So I could go and live however I wanted to from that point on. And then um, it was after a, a night that I'd actually been partying all night. And my wife came in and told me, you know, that I had gotten sick all over myself and that I needed to go and get showered. And, and I was standing in the shower and I remembered how much that I wanted to be just like my dad. And the Lord reminded me that I had a little boy that was laying in the crib in there <clears throat> and that I really want him to be just like me. And I broke down and from that point on started seeking the Lord. Mm -hmm. So you asked the Lord Jesus to come into your heart. Yes, sir. Now, when did you start getting uh, involved in motorcycles? And then from there, you, you had a motor. The chapter here is dedicated to the Lord, but when did you get when did you get involved in motorcycles? Well, I actually became involved in motorcycles um, uh, right after I was 18 years old. I was I bought my first one, and I've owned several on and off. Um, about uh, I guess 10 or 11 years ago, I became um, involved with the Christian Motorcycle Association. 
and I rode, they had a Tifton chapter, and I rode with them for about eight years, and I enjoyed that, and just life happened, and I kind of fell away from that. Mm -hmm. um, my motorcycle, I had to sell it, and then another, one thing after another happened, and so then I really just, um, this past year, my wife and I decided to buy another motorcycle. And then when when we bought that motorcycle, a couple of the other clubs around had approached us about joining them. And I told them, I said, no, I feel like my calling is to ride with a Christian group. So I started praying and <clears throat> asking the Lord to open up another Christian ministry because the Tifton chapter of, of CMA no longer existed. And uh, the Lord opened up the Heaven Saints from Waycross, and I began to pray and said, Lord, please, you know, show me if this is what you want me to do. I want to devote my life, because one thing about my wife and I, we don't do things half-hearted. Mm -hmm. Either we're completely in or we're not. And so I was sitting there and was looking through my Facebook, actually, and there is a logo of our international president who is kneeling beside his motorcycle praying. And uh, I didn't even know who this guy was at that point in time, and I had shared it. And then that day, it came up in my memories on Facebook, and I just knew that that was confirmation from the Lord, that this was exactly where we needed to be. Mm -hmm. So we pursued it from that point on. Okay, so in other words, you have a Christian chapter here in Douglas. Yes, sir. And um, I noticed that on your vestry, you got all kind of patches with Jesus number one and 100% for Jesus. And yes, sir. The other one, it says stone gold? Stone cold. Stone cold. Yes, sir. What does that mean? Well, I drive a truck, and, and you know, I'm shaved head and got a goatee, and also everybody started calling me so, uh, Stone Cold as my CB handle. Oh, okay. And uh, in the motorcycle world, you have what they call a road name, mm -hmm. and that has, it's stuck with me through all the years. My wife's name is actually Fireball. Oh. <laughs> okay. So, um... Uh, so what do you do now? Uh, I know you have a regular job. You do your regular Yes, sir. Job. And then on your spare time, you're into the motorcycle. Yes, sir. And you're a Christian organization. What are some of the things that you guys do well, uh, for um, Christianity? I know you witnessed a lot of people. Yes, sir. Well, and a lot of things, a lot of times we just witness by showing up. I, because like this last... Um, just last week, I went to the funeral of Lieutenant Guthrie, um, and we were invited to come and ride in the funeral. And we actually escorted the hearse from the, well, there was myself and about 200 other cop cars. I'm sure you've seen it on TV. Um, <clears throat> we were, there was 10 other riders. There was two of us. There was myself. I'm the president of the Douglas chapter, and there was Doug Cobb. Who was the vice? Who is the vice president of the Douglas chapter? He rode also, and then we had um, there was five other groups that was with us, <clears throat> and we escorted him to his graveside. We parked and just put our hands over our hearts and and watched as the rest of the possession went in. That's one thing we do. We ride in funerals. Um, we do a lot of just a lot of rides like poker runs um uh benefit rides the biker the entire biker community is wonderful about raising money for a, for a need mm -hmm. um there's been several people who has had like we had a, a guy who rides with us um who actually rides with a group called the southern cruisers who went down and was all broken up and we put on, or we didn't actually put it on, um, Southern Cruisers put on the ride, and we went and supported them, and they, you know, raised money to help his wife and all with his medical expenses mm -hmm. and, and getting back and forth to see him and such. Okay. So the biker community is great about that. Okay, now let me <clears throat> ask you this. Um, yes, sir. When do you, like, when do you do services? Do you go to a particular church or do you have your own services, or well, how does that work? We... 
I actually, my wife and I, and a lot of the Douglas members, we attend uh, New Vision House of Worship with Brother Jimmy Jordan. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, that is our home church. But because a lot of the bikers do not have a church, um, myself and another brother, um, Randy Barrett, and another one of our brothers, Charles Vaughn, um, were praying, and we started a biker church at 2 o'clock in the evening on the second and fourth Sundays. And what we do is we come in and we have, we've got a, a lady, Sydney Wilson, who plays um, piano for us, and we sing and, and give praise to the Lord. And then one of us will bring the message, and then we'll get on our bikes and we'll do a ride. Mm -hmm. And that's the biker part of it. That's what mm -hmm. makes the bikers want to come in because they know they're going to get to go and be a part of the brotherhood and ride. Right. Mm -hmm. And so, so uh, do you guys do a lot of um, charitable work too? I mean, like yes, you said, sir. you help. Uh, what, now how do you select those? I mean, like say for example, somebody's in need. Do they have to be a biker? Or they can be somebody outside no, the biker it can, community. It can be. Just, we do a lot of help for children. Mm -hmm. um, we do. Um, there's uh, Julia Lynch. The girl that passed away back last year. Right. Um, we um, there's a lady named uh, Glenda who she does the the Douglas Bike Night, and she normally heads up a lot of these rides. Mm -hmm. And uh, we just pretty much go and support her. You pay an entry fee, and then you ride on the ride. And um, then a lot of times they'll even though. After the entry fee, you, a lot of times we'll give an, a different, a bigger donation at the end. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, we, there's lots of times that we do stuff like that just to um, just support really right. any ride that's out there. Mm -hmm. I noticed you got a patch, and that patch is the armor of God. That's here from Ephesians, isn't it? Yes, sir. What is it, Ephesians? Uh, Four twenty-three, I believe. I think it's Ephesians 6. Yeah, 6. Put on the whole yes, arm, home, yes, yeah. sir, Ephesians six. 6, I think it is. Yes, sir. Uh, around verse 13, put on the whole, yes, whole armor of God. Um, that is actually part of our, on the back. Um, Stand up our, and turn around, well, you see. <laughs> yeah, it's a little bigger patch. Um, yeah, I see. It's in the corner of the Christian flag. Right, right. And uh, that's what we believe, you know, that we we have the, the helmet of salvation as our head, is our helmet. Our um, shield is, you know, the Word of God. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm sorry, our sword is the Word of God. Um, our shield is like our windshield on our bike. Mm -hmm. Our vest is our armor plate. Then we have our boots. And, mm -hmm. you know, we, we believe that we dress out in the full armor of God. Amen. Now, uh, before we go any further, uh, there may be folks that would like to... Uh, maybe make a contribution to your organization because you do a lot of a lot of yes. good work and i know you folks that are listening are probably not familiar with it and sometimes motorcycles uh, cyclists have bad names you know they saw the stuff on tv but there are good ones like yes. your organization and one in waycross so if they wanted to make a contribution uh to you uh do you mind if i read this it's called heaven saints yes right Yes. Uh, so you mail it to Heaven Saints, P.O. Box 1317, Elfers, Florida. That's E L F E R S, Florida, 34680. Now, if you want that and you didn't catch it, you give me a call and I'll give it to you. And you can make uh, contributions to each, each one. Uh, now, what's this donation patch order form? Is that for you or for your people? Or well, for yeah, that's actually for a, um, a person who is a prospective member. Okay, so they yes, they want to purchase any of those they can. Yes, sir. Anybody, anybody who rides a motorcycle or anybody who wants, we have the Jesus is Lord is the top patch, and the American, I'm sorry, the Christian flag is our centerpiece patch mm -hmm. on our on our backs, and anybody can have those okay now this is by the way this is a nonprofit organization yes your, sir your nonprofit number is 501 C uh, 3 so if you want to contribute and help these men see uh, what people I know a lot of people understand us but in case you don't different people reach different people exactly that is why we have the body of Christ 
And so in your case, you can minister to bikers. Yes, sir. And also those who want to be buckers. And also you guys are, most of your men are familiar with those that are kind of down, downtrodden and so forth. And so that you can help them out. And I mean, you know, we give money to churches and we expect you to give to your church, first of all. Uh, you know, you do your tithes and offerings to the church, but this is above tithes and offerings. So if you do want to contribute, uh, you can do that. And uh, if you didn't miss that number, you give us a call. Uh, they, could also, um, they could also call me. My, my personal cell number is 912-389-7616. And that would actually help out our local chapter here. The number that you get, the address you gave out is our international chapter. Yeah. Um, the best way to get a hold of me would be by my cell phone. Um, okay, you don't have your number on this card, so I need to write it. Okay. Uh, you want to write it on your card? Sure. This way, when folks call, I can uh, give them that number. Yes. Um, anyhow, this is the uh, Bikers Association. They're a nonprofit organization. And we want to do the local number. I guess what you want to do, and I'll, I'll give you this number if you're interested in, 912-389-7616. And, of course, there are scriptures, Ephesians chapter 6, verse 13, about putting on the whole armor of God. Um, is there anything else? We've got about five minutes. Is there anything else that uh, we should know? Uh, I know you do a lot of work. You help, you help a lot of people. And this is what's so good about the body of Christ. Uh, not everybody knows what everybody does in the body of Christ, but everybody in the body of Christ has a certain uh, part in it, as the Apostle Paul when he's talking about the body. So you can minister to bikers, and you can minister to those who are what we call disenfranchised, yes. like people on drugs or people... Uh, uh, feel they have anywhere to go you know there's a lot of people like a lot of veterans from the wars the vietnam and also afghanistan and so forth they're roaming the streets i don't know if you ever yes. run any of them or not have yes you? sir we do mm -hmm. um and to give you a little bit of back history on the heaven saints um there was a guy named barry mason who was a hell's angel mm -hmm. and uh he actually became saved and the lord inspired the heaven saints through him and his vision was not just for us to ride around on motorcycles and um, witness. He, what his vision was, was before anybody ever reached to the point of becoming like a hell's angel or anything like that, um, ministering to youth or ministering to um, addicts. Or, and actually, we do a lot of prison ministry work. And the, we, we go in the places and and especially like with children um we when we went to the boys and girls club here in douglas here uh two weeks ago well, they just fell in love with the motorcycles and and it was just so nice to to give them a positive experience mm -hmm. you know and and that's the people that we try to reach before they get to the point to where they become like hell's angels and things like that okay well listen our time is up um we're going to ask the folks that if they want to make a contribution or if they're interested in any, inf any information, they can give you a call at 912-389-7616. And by the way, if you're listening and you want one of these gentlemen to go to your school, uh, any of the school classes, or go to a meeting like the Rotary Club, the Lions Club, uh, whatever, uh, you'd be available. Right? Absolutely. Okay, We'd love to. They'd be available. So what you want to do is give them a call at 912-389-7616. It's a Christian organization, and it's refreshing to have motorcyclists that are serving the Lord and yes, encouraging sir. other people to do the same thing. So uh, if you want to make a contribution or perhaps you want to ask a question or maybe you want to invite him to speak, uh, you give Brother Paul Patrick Williams a call at 912-389-7616, and uh, he will take it from there. Well, Brother, thank you very much. Appreciate yes, sir, thank you coming. You. And you tell your wife, I know she's listening. She's part of your... Yes, sir. Uh, you tell her. What's her name? Missy Williams. Missy she's Williams. actually over the women's ministry. Okay, well, you tell Missy and... By the way, if the men are going to be in the motorcycles, the women can, right? Absolutely. That's a good idea. Yes, sir. So they can call Missy, right? Yes, sir. And I know she's listening. 
All right. Well, thank you very much. God bless you. You have a good day. It's a pleasure having you here. Thank you. It was a pleasure. God bless you. All right. You've been listening to Christian Perspective. This program is sponsored by Hospital Discount Drugs located here in Douglas.